My biggest goal for my basketball career right now would have to be getting into an Ivy League school. Make the NBA or play professional. Get a scholarship. Just make the NBA. Go play Bishop on college at Oklahoma. You know, UCLA. What it is is it gives you a little uh, microcosm of what college life is. If you want to continue on outside of high school and go to college, then this is kind of how you know how it is. We use basketball as a vehicle to be able to change the worlds and lives of these kids in a direction that they'll be successful in life, not just basketball. We started off here in San Diego 19 years ago. Uh, we expanded now to 16 countries. Next year, we'll be 17. We're in every state in the United States. Sonny Ricaro showed me and gave me an opportunity um, in this game of basketball that probably no one would have ever gave me. And from there, I just launched off and took off. And I have a team of people that really believed in who I was, believed in what we did as a, as a brand. And then from that point, now it's virally gone insane. to understand that building character through this game, being able to use college to be able to be a, a successful person in life, because one day this basketball is going to deflate. And then from that point on, you're going to dictate what you're going to be. So with this camp, we give them a platform to say, hey, you have this many years to dictate what you're going to be in life. And they're going to either follow or they're going to fall off. At that point, it's their choice. camp like this offers them an idea of what's out there. Their competition, the type of coaches who are going to look at them, they're going to be seen by a multitude of coaches who are going to give them advice and give them mentorship to help them get to the next level where they're going to be. So a camp like this is, is super special. It impacted him in a sense of getting engaged and seeing where he needs to actually be in order to compete on that higher level. The experience and the camaraderie and the friendship that he made and the fraternal nature of this all, uh, I mean, it's impacted him not only through the basketball, but through life itself because he's made friends from all over the United States as well as some overseas. So it's very impactful. Very. But we have about 172 NBA players now that have been attended this camp. That's great, but it's more of the kids that have gone to college. That means more to me because out of those 172, the majority of them would have made it regardless of Phenom or not. I think we have impacted some of their lives, but more importantly, I think the kids that we have directed into a college scholarship has made a difference for more kids than most. Being able to hear firsthand what an NBA player had to offer and his story, was, was moving and just being able to have that kind of feedback or you can ask somebody like that question who's already passed all the levels and made it to the top and just to have that level of insight um, you can't really get that anywhere at any of the other camps I've been to none of them have had anybody like that The biggest thing is when you see kids appreciate and they see them and they're driving they're trying to accomplish things that they know is it's at their hands they can do it um, but I think the biggest thing when I left the kids understood accountability they understood what was important to them in life and sometimes people think we're too hard but at the end we're not going to change what we do we're going to do what we think is best for them we can't change everybody we're going to change the ones that want help and we're going to stay with them we will mentor these kids from the time they get here to the time they graduate they don't need to just attend our camp. We'll make sure that we stand by them and educate them through this process. The main goal is to make an impact on every kid's life. I'll see a kid five years down the road 
And I'm like, wow, this kid made a huge maturity change in his life. So stuff like that, little things like that, seeing that a kid grows into a man is what we like to see. This is a platform where the kids can use to be able to get visibility for colleges. They can understand what it takes to get to college. And more importantly than anything, is branding themselves as an athlete to all the basketball schools across the country. A lot of kids see guys on TV or they see the games. They don't understand how much work it really goes into what you see. You all see the final product or anything, a show or, you know, a game, but there's so much that goes into setting up that final project. And usually if you keep at it and keep fighting, you're going to have adversity. It's either going to make you stronger or you're going to quit. The ones that it makes stronger, they usually, you know, keep on and they're successful in what they're trying to do. It's a great achievement to like get play at this camp. I'm getting I'm getting to know new people. That'll probably help me later on in my life. At the old camp, I knew like everybody who was there. I know how I could guard them and stuff like that. So it wasn't as competitive. But here, there's like number one players from the nation around here, so it's really fun. Coming to a camp like this, it helps with exposure and like going against kids that are also my level. Like, back to where I'm from, Dallas, it's like I go against those kids every single time. So it's like coming out of state, it's like better, you know, so I can see different competition and, and learn some new moves. You might be good where you're from, but then you come here, you're like, man, I, I, I think I need to get on my game a little bit more. So I, it, 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 I think it's a big motivational uh, factor that comes with this. And some kids that don't make the All-Star game, they come back the following year like, I want to make the All-Star game. So guess what? That, that means you have to go back and work for a whole year. That's not, there's not a problem with that. That's the whole point of, you know, this camp is to try to get the best out of each kid. Well, next year, the big thing for us is this is our 20th year anniversary coming up. We're going to move it to Orange County in a facility that's state of the art. We feel that that revelation of that, that venue is, is where our camp needs to be at. Um, and then that, like I said, the 20th anniversary is huge because from that platform on, we're going to move on to, it's called the Phenom Extravaganza. And that, that is the next level of what we'll go to. So our vision doesn't stop here. We, we're on our fourth phase of 10. I'm going to hit that 10 phase if I make it, God's willing to put me through. I'm going to hit those 10 phases. And with that, I think we'll change enough lives that I can, I can lay my head to rest for sure.